Mr McGiven. How are you doing? Sorry, I'm late. I was talking to a wee woman down the road about pro life, so I was. Oh dear. <laughs> Local eccentric, I expect. <laughs> no, I mean, I had to agree with her. I mean, at the end of the day, a boss and I is just a waste of family allowance. Mm. Um, shall we take a look around? I'm sure you'll agree this property does have the wow factor. Fuck me, it is real brick. It does kind of look like a magistrate's house, but... You know, everything you'll see is original. Ah, uh, you're right, I can't be doing with fakes. Had a party last weekend, hired the sugar babes. Asked me to play that sound of the underground. The last girl's allowed. I was like, you can shut the fuck up then. Nearly started greeting. We ones looking at our shoes. I was like, you can fucking look at me, I'm signing the cheque here. It's magic. Worth every penny. Next week I booked UB40. <laughs> but I'll listen to them. They're good. Oh. Um, the owners are looking for a quick sale, so they've included all the furniture. Leaving it? That's right. Cheeky bastard, so I need to take all this piss to skip then. Um... Is there nothing worth keeping? Well, there's the Jasper Conran. Oh, he's pissed, man. I've never thought he was funny. Although the detectives was pretty good. I'll tell you what. You keep the furniture, I'll take your house. How much is it? It's 2.5 million. <laughs> I'll give you two and a half. I've no get the cash on you now. I'll leave you my phone. We'll be back in ten. <laughs> <laughs>